Greetings and salutations, all. In this video, we're going to go ahead and download and install the Unix ODBC homebrew package. In order to continue on in this video, please make sure that you've installed homebrew, the missing package manager for Mac or Linux. And you can see a previous video walking through those installation steps. Uh, linked in the description below. That said, let's go ahead and start the process of installing the required packages by going up to the top right, selecting the Spotlight icon to open Spotlight Search. Then we're going to type Terminal and then press Enter. After we press Enter, the terminal window uh, should appear. We're going to go ahead and type brew space install space Unix ODBC, and we're going to press enter. And what's going to happen next is Brew is going to check to see if there are any upgrades uh, possible. And if there are, it'll uh, let us know. Then it will begin the process of downloading and installing the requested package. So now we have Unix ODBC installed on our system. The next part here that we want to accomplish is we want to pick a common DB driver that we might use. In our case, that's going to be SQLite ODBC drivers. So we're going to go ahead and use brew space install space SQLite ODBC, and we're going to press enter. And this is going to download and then subsequently install the SQLite um, ODBC package alongside of the SQLite uh, package itself, all through um, Homebrew. With this being done, we now need to create two different files to let our software know that they can start to use the ODBC drivers. If you scroll down on the um, solutions.posit.co forward slash connections forward slash db forward slash best practices forward slash drivers page, you can see the two files that are required. The first file that we need to use and set up is going to be an odbc inst.ini that's defining the driver options. And then the second file is the odbc.ini that's going to describe here the connection options. We're going to use a local version uh, of both of these. So again, you can see down below a local DSN file can be used with the files tilde forward slash and tilde dot odbc inst.ini. So we're going to go ahead and set up both of these uh, in, the, in that way. So uh, that said, uh, let's go ahead and open our favorite uh, terminal editor. I'm going to go and use VI. So I'll type VI space uh, tilde forward slash dot ODBC INST dot INI. Once I press enter, I'm taken into an empty file over here inside of my terminal editor. So I'm going to do um, a copy that is going to require me to highlight the SQLite driver component. And I'm going to go ahead and use Command C to copy that line. Then I'm going to go over into the editor window that I opened. I'm going to press I. And notice when I pressed I down below, you see the insert option. And then I'm going to use Command V to paste what I copied from the website directly into this uh, odbc uh, inst.ini file. I'm going to then press escape to leave insert mode. So I pressed escape. It's now not in insert mode. And then I'm going to quit from the file by pressing escape again, and then typing shift colon wq, which is going to write our changes and exit out of the editor. The next file that we're going to do is the odbc.ini. So we're going to say vi space tilde forward slash 
dot ODBC dot INI, and we're going to press enter. Just like before, we're going to go over to where we see the SQL light section. We're going to highlight those two lines. We're going to use command C to copy them. Then we're going to jump into our terminal editor again. We'll press I to change into the insert mode that you see down below. And then what we're going to do is use command V to paste the driver settings into this .odbc.ini file. Once that's done, we'll press escape to exit insert mode. And then we'll press escape again, just to make sure that we're out of it. And then use shift colon WQ to write and quit the changes to file. With the configuration now set up, the next step is to see if everything is correctly functioning. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our studio. My version of our studio is on my dock. So I'm going to go and launch our studio from my dock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the connections tab in the top right. I'm going to select new connection. And I'm going to hope uh, that uh, the new connection has SQL light. Notice there's a SQL light entry and a SQL light driver entry. You're going to want to use the later version SQL light driver. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and press OK uh, to create here a in memory uh, SQL light database. And as you can see, the top right has now changed and we have effectively uh, a connection into the SQL light uh, in memory database that was just created. So this goes to gently show that the work that we did to set up the ODBC drivers for SQL Lite uh, was a success. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.